again. It is a bit wet, isn't it? Yeah. But it's not windy. No, and it's not cold. It's not cold. So. And it's going to be sunny in Dubrovnik um, tomorrow. Lovely. Yes. Yeah. It's raining, it's pouring. <laughs> oh, and most are still snoring because it's reasonably early. It's not that early, it's just gone nine, but we're making a. Yeah. We're making our we're escape. Going we're going straight over this little roundabout that Google doesn't even know is a roundabout because because most stuff. Um, hey there, you fucker. That's it. You can see me. Don't move. Yeah, so we're going to... Uh, we're going to Dubrovnik We're going today. to Dubrovnik. Oh, your microphone sounds better, Claire. Oh, that's good. The, uh, the, the, the uh, cable tie and uh, flannel solution... That worked. That, well, we've yet to test it at motorway speeds, of course. That's true. So but uh, it's, sound, it's sounding better. It's sounding much better already. Yeah. So Dubrovnik. Um, and we were we were wondering about spending a couple of days in Dubrovnik, but Claire mentioned that the uh, Eurovision Song Contest is on Saturday week, and and we've got to be in Istanbul for that, basically. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, Turkey has not participated in the Eurovision since 2012. So uh, we're gonna. I think we may have a bit of a hunt, trying to find a, a, a bar to watch it. But we will. We will succeed. I'm gonna take you to a gay bar. Gay, gay bar. bar. Oh yeah. Come on. It's gonna be brilliant. Uh, so I think we're gonna be okay with the weather. It looks like it might clear up a little bit this morning before we get to Dubrovnik. And we did. We only have uh, 126 kilometres to go this morning. Yeah. Because we were going to go and visit the lovely waterfalls near here. But the waterfalls came to us. Yeah. There's not a lot of point in going and doing wild swimming when it's pissing with rain like this. Yeah. I suppose if I was a little hardier than I actually am. But If Cat yeah. was here, she'd be all over this. Cat, you should have come to, to this with us and we could have watched you wild swim. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so I've, got, I've got a taste for the adventure, but, but no real actual endurance when it comes to <laughs> things like swimming in the pissing rain and freezing cold. Yes. Okay, that's our left turn in 300 metres. Right. If we don't fall into a giant-sized Bosnian puddle first. <sighs> Lovely. Three and a half litres. It's all right, I've got it, really. It's easier if I do it because it uses so little. Okay. There we go. I am done. Oh. All right, that was my first Gazprom petrol experience. Oh, I think it might have been mine too. Yes. I didn't realise they had Gazprom in this neck of the woods. It's quite a far south, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, well, so what have we got there? So I usually take a picture of... How much? How, how much, much fuel? Uh, See the damage. Hang on, I'll just... Uh, the damage is 1767, whatever the hell currency we're going to pay in. There we go. Got it. I know it's very geeky taking pictures of the uh, fuel we use, but I want to know because I'm all about the statistics. I love a stat. Love a stat. I love a stat, yeah. There we go, all done up. Click. Thank you. And do up my bags again. These bags are, are very, very good, but there's no other way of getting the seat up to get to the fuel tank other than doing the bags. There we go. So the dude at the petrol station's got a big long stick that he's cleaning on a bit of rope, and he's opened the bunker lid, and I've got a horrible feeling he's about to dip the petrol tanks. Is he go Yeah. He's shoving it down the hole. Yeah. I mean, this is all like a modern petrol station. You would have thought there's sensors or even just dead reckoning. You know, they know they've got yeah. X thousand litres in the tank. You would think. But yeah, no, he's dipping it right down in there. Okay. Petrol fans at home, 
is this an egregious violation of health and safety regulations or is this actually normal practice that I've never seen in the UK? Answers on a postcard, please. So we've just pulled over at the side of the road because my bike keeps cutting out. It's raining fairly hard here in uh, just outside Fuquay, outside uh, Mostar. But as soon as I get up to speed, my bike won't have the power. And I, I don't know what it is. There's a slight smell around it that might be oil burning out. It might be something else. I'm suspicious that the air filter is too wet because they've spent the night outside and I stupidly didn't cover the air filter. Uh, let's have a look at it. It could be the air filter, though it doesn't look sodden wet, but it's hard to tell. I think what I'm going to do is leave it a little while to idle. It's when it gets right up to speed, it kind of cuts out which is a little bit disconcerting given that yeah. we're in a country with no breakdown with cover. no breakdown cover because we're outside the EU but we're we're not I mean there's so many garages along here yeah, it's, true. it's not like we wouldn't be able to find help somewhere I mean we've actually stopped at somewhere that's a theoretically a garage although goodness knows whether it's open so I'm going to give it five minutes to run and see what happens oh there's been an accident here Looks like it's just slid off the road. Oh, it's not the day for it, is it? No, it isn't. So we're wandering along here and my bike is just, it doesn't want to pull in, in high revs. It's just every so often it starts to cut out like there's a, a fuel blockage or something. Look, here it is, it's juddering. And I thought it was a wet air filter, but I don't think it is. And it's, it's happened since we filled up. So either I've overfilled it and there's a, an airlock or there's something dodgy in the fuel. But, fu but Claire's bike's running okay. You're yep. okay. I'm good. Yeah. Touch basket. Touch basket. Oh, and we're heading up into the Bosnian hills here above Mostar. Uh, so not only is my bike running quite variably but we're, we're off into the countryside up a bloody great big hill so it's all going well really yeah oh, brilliantly come on come on little bike da -da, on, da -da, da -da, I can feel it just da -da, da -da. Uh oh come on little bike I'm, I'm really hopeful that whatever's blocking it or causing it will just heat up and it'll oh god this is tortuous we got we got some cars behind us now I think they're just going to think we're incredibly slow and it's not because my bike's... Yeah, cause, no, because we've got tiny little bikes and they're thinking, oh, they've got shit bikes. Yeah, they've got shit bikes. No, it's actually these... Wait for the straight and overtake. These bikes can go uphill. There we go. There we go. Give us a beep. Can give us a beep? What's he going to get? Oh, there's an oncoming. He's... An oncoming. No, he's, he's, he's taking it easy. The brake go down. What's he going to do? Is he going around that corner? He's going to wait because it's a good... Yeah, good corner now. Okay, he's got his room now, off he goes. Yeah. That's a solid four. Yeah, that's a solid four. I like that. Ow. 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 <laughs> Ow. Ow. It's hurting me as much as you. Ow. Ow. <laughs> We should have we should have had those full face lids, shouldn't we? Totally should. Ow. Oh, we look cool as fuck in these motocross helmets, and I love I love my showy. I really do. I love it. But my nose hurts. <laughs> Ow. And there's this horrible thing. If you put your buff up over your nose, everything steams up inside the the goggles. So you've got to leave a little bit for your nose, and then it's just your nose that gets the rain. I've tried to do some on bike gurning to try and work on my butt. <laughs> uh, my face. But it's not really working. Oh fuck, my bike's still cutting out. Look at it. <laughs> this is just. What did you do on your holiday, Charlotte? Well, I rode up the side of a Bosnian hill with a 
fucked up little mountain bike in the pissing rain and I didn't even bring a, a helmet that covered my face. Ow. <laughs> oh, thank you for coming on holiday with me, Claire. I fucking hate you, bud. <laughs> We're through her. <laughs> does that mean does that mean you want your saw back? Yes. <laughs> it's mine, so I can't I can't let you keep the saw. <laughs> So this lorry here, if we go round this hairpin bend, and the lorry's got stuck on the hairpin bend. I couldn't get my camera on in time, but you've just seen the aftermath of it. And he had to kind of do a three-pointer around this hairpin bend. This is ridiculous. And we kind of stopped early on just to let him do his thing, because I didn't know how much he was going to back up. And all the cars behind us are like, go on, go on! <laughs> we're like, this is a fucking great big articulated lorry yeah, backing up on a hairpin. Huh. No, I'm not going anywhere near him on my monkey bike, thank you. Oh dear. We are in the back of beyond now. And it's still raining, but actually we're both quite comfortable. Yeah. And you know, we're not we're not too cold, even though it's quite wet. And it's just a stunningly lovely bit of road to ride. And there's there's a few cars coming along here and there. Yeah, everyone's been uh, overtakes have been good. Yeah, I think we've been averaging about a solid four. Oh yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, look, there's a little bar there. But yeah, it's 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 a fair few. We've basically got another 25 kilometres on this road before we come to anything that you could call civilization again. The sky looks like it's brightening up over there. It there. does actually, yeah. Yeah. Believe it or not, this is actually the Bosnian M6. But we haven't found the toll booth yet. No, no, no. I mean, I, th I don't think you're ever going to get anything quite like Norton Keynes in Bosnia. But, no. But yes, this is the M6. Actually, in fairness, I'd take it over the uh, the British M6 any day. It's got yeah, far nicer views. Exactly. Oh, what a view! Oh, it's lovely, and it's stopped raining. It's stopped raining. Oh, a bit windy though. Whoa, a bit windy. Oh, 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 really windy. Oh, Jesus. Oh, slowing right down. Woo. Oh my God. We just dropped down into the next valley there and caught it. Oh, oh. okay, all right, all right, hang on. That's all right, that's all right. That's it, Rep. The rain stopped. My bike is still running like absolute shit. And it's really quite windy, but, you know, all things considered, it's, great. it's going all right, yeah. Yeah, it's nice. It's all right, I think the wind's it's, it's coming down, it's coming yeah. down. Oh, oh. Okay, all right, back in the room, back in the room. Back in the room, back in the room. 64k to Dubrovnik, 64k to Dubrovnik, 64k, 64k, 64k to Dubrovnik. <sighs> There's been a, a lorry behind you for the last about sort of five kilometres or something, and it's it's really being respectful. He's been very respectful. He's been good. He's probably sitting in there going, fucking idiots. <laughs> <laughs> you English lunatics <laughs> with your pathetic little bikes. How did you have an empire? <laughs> we got a big hairpin coming up at the bottom of this road. Oh man, yeah, okay. Alright, let's get down down a gear or seven. Oh no, hang on, we don't have seven. No, I'm, I'm in third. Yeah, third, third, third seems it to... It may, may end up with second, but... It's like a fairly... A vaguely wide hairpin. Yeah. Alright, okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, second. Do you know, I'm, I'm having done a few of these mountain hairpins around this neck of the woods, I'm quite pleased we decided against the Stelvio. Yes, me too. That was a good idea. More wind, it? Yeah. Oh, Claire's just pulled us over for a second because um, she's slightly concerned about her front wheel. She said it felt slightly dodgy. I think it's okay. It's not, I can only barely squeeze it, so... Yeah? Yeah, I think... The wheel bearing's all right? It's not wobbling in the wheel? No, that's 
pretty no, solid. Okay. Check the rear. It was. Oh, it was. Mm. I think yeah, it was. Rear's fine. Oh, I think I've got a slightly damp ass. That's a yeah. unusual feeling with these nice waterproofs. Or maybe it's just colder. I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't know. My, I got my nose my leg. These, these, these waterproof trousers are great, but they're a little bit too short and they ride up. Yeah. Which means, and that was that was how my left boot got wet when we were in Trest. I think it just like slopes mm. down. Yeah, I have definitely got a wet ass. Oh. Um, but that's all right. Oh, there's a biker coming here. Uh, yeah. Uh, let's see if I can get off the centre stand. Yeah. Okay. Oh, stop it. Oh, stop it. Oh. Yeah. Hey, oh, yeah. We're good. <laughs> we are, yeah. <laughs> It's a lovely day, isn't it? Green mice. Yeah. Yeah, we just... Huh? Dubrovnik. Dubro we're going, we're going, to, going to Dubrovnik. Dubrovnik. Yeah. Ah, oh, right. We, we, come, we came from Mostar today. We came from Mostar. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I love Beautiful. it. Beautiful. It's fantastic biking country. It's amazing. You like the running. And how many kilometers to Mostar? We came here. Oh, we've probably done. It's about 100 kilometers to Mostar. Yeah, about that. Okay. Same here. Good luck. Yeah. Nice to see you. Ride carefully. Ah, they're Russian. Okay. Uh, yeah, he said he was from he was from St. Petersburg. Fuck. Yeah, man. That's a long ride as well. Yeah. Right, let's get going. Right, let's get going. So, Google said we should go down here on our way to Dubrovnik, and we've just followed this road a bit. And it's not really the sort of road that I want to be riding a monkey bike on, to be it's not honest. Really a road, in fact. No, so so we're going back to the M6. Yeah, the, the M6 that we know and love. It's nice, smooth M6. It is. I think this this bloke here who saw us on the <laughs> way down is yeah. like, no, don't go down there, mate. Don't That's not there. a good idea. Good not a good idea at all. Oh, he's giving me the hairy eyeball. <laughs> right, there's a little bit of a. Oh, oh, that's fine. Right, all good. Right. Right, back on the M6. Back on the M6. So I think we're about to go back into Croatia at some point here because I've just seen a Bosnian flag saying welcome to Bosnia going in the other direction. So there is a good chance that if we're not already in Croatia, then we're about to be in Croatia. And it's possibly over the other side of these hills. I think it is. Oh, that's still that's still in Bosnia and that signpost. Oh, OK, yeah. Because that's all the, like, kind of, you know, Slavic, Cyrillic alphabet. But it's all a bit confusing. Europe is confusing because sometimes there's, like, aggressive borders where you get scowled at by people. And other times it's just like, oh, yeah, welcome to Bosnia, whatever. So I don't really know. What's around? That is a belter of a view. It's epic. Oh. So we're 13k out from Dubrovnik and I reckon as we, we're, we're basically just losing height now until we get there. Yep. Oh. And there's definitely some blue sky out there somewhere. Yeah, somewhere we have blue sky. Oh, it's a little windy around these... Uh, around these roads, but it's okay, it's okay, I'm not taking it, not taking it too fast. Although, it's a double Armco road, I notice. Yes. Wow. Very nice. I think Claire must be a, about a kilometre back from me here because the comms are getting very patchy as we go round the uh, 
as we go around these little windy bits of, of cliff face. So I'm slowing right down to let her catch me up. Because I'm driving this day. Because you are driving this day, see? So I'm slow. Rob Nick. And it was piss wet. So, what did you think of Dubrovnik? Wet. Yeah, mainly a wet. Disappointing. It was a little disappointing. I mean, I'm sure it's, it's lovely. Jesus Christ, it's expensive. Game of Thrones tax. It basically is, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I'm... Look, come see Dubrovnik when the weather's nice and stuff and do the tours and the Game of Thrones, but... but go to Split and Mostar first. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they absolutely are. Yeah.